In this video today, I want to talk to my women that still need some help around just being soft and feminine. So I actually have on my gardening clothes, got my hat on, lucky. According to 23andMe, I'm 22% Irish, so I want my pot of gold. <laughs> so anyways, I just saw this cute little hat and thought I'd buy it. And I'm actually getting ready to garden. Now, this is something really that I've never done. I wanted to do when I had my house when I was 30 and um, I had like a little area in the backyard, but I was scared to do it because we also had like a really big, what they call retention pond in Florida. And we had moccasins, okay? They would find them in the neighborhood. People found them in their garages. So I'm, I'm a scaredy cat. So I'm like, yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not going to garden because of this name. So my chocolate Superman, I call him my honey bunny, he um, built me an above ground, literally above, like I can stand up like this and do my gardening. So I'm going to have an above ground garden. Um, so I'm going to plant, um, I bought some seeds, I'm going to do some fruits and vegetables, I'm so excited. And I'm also planting flowers. So for some of you that have dealt with in divorce and especially single parenting. Single parenting has been one of the most challenging things I've had to do, literally had to do. I um, won't say I've been super successful or not. I'll just say that it's just been a challenge. And I found that over the years, um, because I had to be the tougher parent and at times I was not tough enough. Um, I'm more of a nurturer. I've always been a soft woman. Um, I was talking to one of my friends that I've had since middle school. <laughs> And we were just, I've just always been kind of a soft person, soft personality. You know, I don't want to fight you. I don't want to argue with you. I don't want to be upset and angry. I just want to be, I just want to float through life like a little fairy. <laughs> That's just me. I'm just a beautiful little flower. Um, I, I'm a delicate little flower and he just laughs. So talking about femininity some of you all are just you're just hardened you over the years have had to raise kids you know they say we're not mom and dad but you know we're mom and if dad is absent then we're tough and over the years we lose some of that softness and that femininity so I read a lot as you all know so this book the wild woman's way is one that I highly recommend and one of the things in there that she talked about was gardening and planting and caring for flowers and i have plants in my office that i just i really i talk to them i'm kind of that little weird plant whisperer and so i'm picking up gardening because again if you've been a single parent you probably lived in an apartment if you've lived in a house when you get home you don't have the energy to go out and plant the flowers i'm telling you single parenting sucks it just sucks i i, I did not enjoy it and you don't have the energy so now i have more energy i have more time so i picked up gardening so that's just a suggestion i have for some of you just be a wild woman she talks about a lot of things that you can do to bring back your your femininity some of you all are just like i'm so masculine you know you're so used to taking care of any everything what can you do to bring that feminine side back beyond just you know dressing and lipstick and all that stuff garden so I'm excited about my plants. I'm excited about my produce that I'm going to be planting. But just wanted to share that. And I highly recommend this book, Wild Woman's Way. So, all right, the lighting is so good. Um, I need to do a video. I do not use um, makeup. I use my lipstick and I got my eyebrows done. It's called um, microdermabrasion. But outside of that, yeah. Oh, this sun just be, feels so good. So anyways, let me know below if you are going to start gardening or planting produce and be that wild woman. So who's going to be the spark to connect the conversation? I'll see you in the next video. Peace.